Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom. We have seven kiddos at home, ranging from 12 down to one year. So I hesitated to put um, these videos out so early, but um, because I had some others that I wanted to um, film and get out before this, but I have been seeing people and some friends and family talking about um, their gift ideas and what their kids want. So these videos that I'm going to put out are going to be um, age specific. And I'll tell you the gender boy or girl. Um, and what my kids have done is, and I mean, I've done it for the little littles, but um, what my kids have done is kind of thought about general, just basic things, ideas um, that they can give out. Nothing specific. We have not received our Target catalog, our Amazon catalog, our Walmart catalog, none of that. These are things that they are interested in, things that they either play with or um, things that they do on a daily basis um, to where it's not junk and it's not a waste of money and it's not something just to give that um, they're going to be tired of in an hour. These are things that we know and I know that they are interested in and they enjoy doing and it's their interests and their, you know, passions um, for sports or whatnot. And so what we did, just on a side note, Santa brings all of the gifts for the kiddos. Um, so we are hoping that this list will make it to Santa whenever we see Santa this year. Um, so these are just things that I could also give to um, family members that are asking and requesting um, for some ideas. And like I said, these are um, these none of these things are junk. They are things that they genuinely love to do. So even if these things aren't like specific to your kids, for example, the sports things that I'm going to mention, think about it in that aspect. What do they have a passion for? What do they love to do? What is something that they would be interested in doing and enjoy doing and not just something to give for the sake of giving? Um, so what, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do all seven. Um, yeah, I typically do two videos a week, usually, unless my week is like crazy. And then sometimes I will do one. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to do it in order, in age order from my 12 year old boy all the way down, um, to my one year old boy. And so the intro to this video that I'm recording right now will be at the beginning of every single one. So when I record each one of these, I'm just going to jump right in. But this, this, um, first part will be the beginning of every single video. So you can just, you know fast forward through this if you've already seen these. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I will jump right into um, the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are on to kiddo number three. She is a December baby, so she is currently six, um, but we are going to be turning seven. So what I've listed for her could be for six or um, seven-year-old. So let me get started here. Um, I have the same amount as my other videos. I have about 15 ish. Um, I will put blend some together as well. Um, if I feel like I can do that. So first off we have puzzles. Um, she happens to be very good at puzzles. This is something that she can do quietly or your kiddo can do quietly. Um, this boys or girls, um, my five-year-old also loves puzzles too. So, um, this could be something that they work on together. Um, and they have so many cool puzzles with different um, scenes and different characters and things like that. Definitely the character ones, especially if it goes with their room theme. So her room theme is Disney princess, um, but it's like more of a, it's not like the really loud colors, like super bright, bright colors. It's more of like pastel colors. So if I could find something that um, puzzle, that has just very pale, you know, pinks and things like that. I could easily have her do that, glue it and put it on her wall for display. Um, something she can be proud of 
she loves doing it and she will also do them like over and over and over again so puzzles look on amazon target has quite a few as well um, that i've seen and walmart too um, i have seen quite a few there that um, would be fun for this age group dance stuff so dance is her sport so this goes for anything um, that your kiddo is interested in if it's gymnastics if it's um, a sport you know softball anything like that um, anything sports gear for her it would be dance related um, for now that's her thing it's been her I don't want to say it's been her thing because she hasn't been like as excited about it as my older daughter but um, it's what she does now and um, she hasn't complained in a while <laughs> so we're just going to stick with it um, so that is her thing right now and um, things like a new dance bag or new leotards or new tights um, tights aren't super fun but new leotards decorative you know leotards in the back like if there's ones with jewels or different kind of straps um, the dance bags um, dance cover-ups just everything that I mentioned for my 10 year old actually I will link that video also because a lot of their stuff is kind of similar they are three years apart um, but a lot of their things are very similar so any kind of sports related for her specifically dance things um, her level of books so if you have watched my channel for any length of time um, specifically in the last couple of months um, you will know that my six-year-old who is in first grade we have had some struggling with her reading but the um, what she's doing now the level that she's doing now is really helping to boost her confidence and so she's easily um she's getting to read it's easier for her to read um and for her to read the lessons and read what she's supposed to read so getting her the level books that i think she would um be right at or maybe even pushing it just a little bit um to kind of um you know, challenge her a bit would be a great idea. I have mentioned in my other videos that half price books, I have always found good things at half price books. There are so many new books. They are not all used books. Um, and whether or not that's just like overstock or what, um, I don't know, but they have a ton of new books that I have gotten. Um, I've done a haul also from them um, that I'll link to, but um, her, range of books and you can find books at a lot of thrift stores or at half price books that are things that like ones that they don't make anymore that were really really good there's some like old sesame street books and stuff that i loved as a kid that you just can't find anymore and so a lot of people get rid of those books and so therefore they're at half price books and places like that so books her age her her um skill level her reading level um i think definitely the character books are what she um zeroes in on more so if i have the fancy nancy or if i have um pinkalicious or um my little pony or things like that that she relates to and she really likes reading that those kind of books are a huge confidence boost so her level of books clothes dresses um she i have mentioned before that we do not do like a huge before school haul because we homeschool. And so I kind of just, the younger ones get the hand-me-downs, but I do buy things for special occasions. Like if we're doing pictures or there's holidays and um, you know, if I, if not everybody matches, I will purchase new things like that um, for my younger kids, even if we have something that they could wear, but it doesn't quite match. So, <clears throat> I like to do dresses. She likes, you know, fancy things. So I like to do dresses. I like to do um, shirts. She loves shirts with like prints on them, with characters on them, with those like reverse sequin, I don't even know what you call them, flip sequin shirts. She loves those. Um, anything with like glitter, things like that. Um, I have mentioned before that like when I was a kid, clothes were not like on the top of my list. But they are always super excited about it. 
I don't know why. Um, I guess because they don't get them very often unless they get like hand-me-downs. My older ones will, but um, the younger ones get hand-me-downs and stuff. And so even though that's new to them, it's not like brand new clothes. So brand new clothes, they really enjoy getting those, whether it's birthdays or Christmases or holidays or whatever. Jewelry um, and hair bows. So again, like my 10 year old jewelry, we do not have our ears pierced. Um, maybe this year, maybe next year, we'll see. Um, but currently she does not have her ears pierced. So she wouldn't be getting earrings, but she likes necklaces. Um, she likes, you know, bows. Um, she likes little play rings, things like that. So any kind of, um, you know, jewelry or things that she can wear, she, um, that kind of goes along with like little nail polish things or little lip gloss things and um, ones that have little containers that you can put them in, like the character ones. You have to be kind of careful with like what's in those though. Um, like I don't ever get those kind of things like from the dollar store or anything like that. Um, Cause I'm starting to be a little bit more conscious about what's in like, products and stuff. So, um, I might do a video on that actually. <laughs> um, it's been a real, a real thing, um, recently. So things like that, that they put on their mouth and, you know, play makeup and stuff like that. You really have to be careful with that stuff. Um, but that's another option, kind of play makeup that, you know, they could play around with it and then just wash it off before you go somewhere. So jewelry, hair bows, any of that, like cosmetic kind of stuff. Um, underwear and socks. I have said in my other videos that Santa brings underwear and socks every year. She is still at that character stage. And so, um, socks I like to have like plain. I like Santa to bring like plain socks, white socks that it goes with everything. Um, or she can have like character or like, you know, fun wool socks for just lounging around the house. Um, character underwear. So, you know, you can buy those at Target, you can buy those at Walmart. Um, they come in packs and sometimes a pack or two um, will last the whole year as long as we don't have like a huge growth spurt. So um, those are always fun because you can always find good character underwear at any of those stores. Um, puppy and kitten figurines. So this is kind of random um but she loves like those i don't even know what they're called um i used to have them they were like they were like little bitty puppies that you would carry like mini puppies almost like a like a puppy in my pocket maybe that's what they were called Jeez, um i can't remember but i had them as a kid and so little things like that like little mini um animals little mini puppies little mini kittens that like they you can put them like in a little bag um, to carry around with you or you can literally put them in your pocket um any of those little figurines that she can kind of play with uh, the calico critters things like that that's kind of they're a little bit those are a little bit more expensive um and so it's not something that you really want to buy and then like give to your two-year-old but two or three-year-old but um those kind of little figurines her and my other kids love to just kind of you know fake play with those um so little figurines animal figurines puppy kitten um any little toys like that um storybook lego so she has specifically asked it for asked for those she does have one or two of those um like the ones that fold over um the legos that they fold over they are called storybook legos um the Disney princess ones that might be the only character um, that they come in for the particular kind um, but she really likes those because those can be on the go and um, you can take those anywhere with you on the road on the plane anywhere so um, those kind of Legos she does like building like troll Legos um, and she can do that you know just independently, quietly. I say quietly, nothing's really quiet in this house. Um, any kind of Lego. She is not a huge, huge Lego fan, but again, those characters draw her to those toys. So if you want something that's like an independent activity or an independent toy, but it's also kind of, you know, working with their fine motor skills, and these aren't like the Duplo Legos, these are like the actual Legos, um, then that would be a good option for you. 
um poly pocket so we're big on poly pocket right now i remember when i was a kid this was a big thing and so now they've kind of made a little comeback and um they've been around for a while i think um recently like their comeback has been around for a while so um this is something that i have seen kind of everywhere i've seen all kinds of cool stuff now i have to be super super careful um, my two-year-old knows not to put these things in her mouth, but obviously the one-year-old, mm -mm. so um, I have to be very careful and we can only play it in certain areas, but um, the Polly Pockets, they have a lot of different options now. They have, you know, the clothes that you can change the clothes out. They have, um, they have little, like, just all kinds of things. They have, like, a unicorn one I actually got for her birthday. Um, a unicorn one so you can like put your poly pockets inside there and then carry it wherever you want so it's like a traveling poly pocket case but it's shaped like a unicorn really cool um and side note when you see these things um like for example i got that um at target and there was a just recently there was a 25 percent off um coupon for one toy so always be on the lookout for those things like in your target app or not necessarily Walmart because they don't really have like coupons like that, but um, things like that where it's like 25% off one toy or, you know, spend $50 and then get, you know, $5 gift card. Look out for those things because especially around this time, this is the perfect time, even if you do little by little to accumulate that stuff. Um, also baby dolls. So this kind of, goes along with my two-year-old also. I, you know, all my kids just kind of mix and match their stuff sometimes. But um, at Target, I was there and I saw, and Walmart actually, but Target specifically, I saw, um, you know, they have the baby doll. They have their own baby doll line, just like Walmart does. I forget the name. I don't know if it's My Life. I don't, I can't remember. Is that the one at Walmart? Anyway, they have all kinds of things. Like you could literally have like your own, life-size dollhouse i mean it's just crazy all the things that they have they have like the play dishwasher and the play lawn you know laundry um washing machine and dryer and all these things where they can play house but it's like decent sized stuff <laughs> and so it goes along with their line of baby dolls or you could use your own baby dolls so she likes to do that kind of set that pretend play um along with my two-year-old but she really likes to do that. So that's an idea as well. Um, Disney princess characters. So I said she likes, um, really likes Disney princess characters. Um, that is the theme of her and my daughter, other daughter's room. So anything that goes along with that theme, um, anything that I can put, their walls are pretty much, I'm working on their room right now. Um, I did my older two and now it's their turn. So um, anything that they can put on the walls, anything that they can put on their bookshelf or on their dresser or on their nightstand to decorate and use that theme. Um, and not like little, little trinket type toys that will just get lost, like things that actually have a purpose and a use. So things that go with their theme, which just happens to be the Disney princess. So um slippers slippers are a cute idea and they have the cute little characters with the little heads on them or like trolls she had a troll one that is now my two-year-old has um trolls with the little head on it and hair and everything um you know not just like normal slippers like character slippers that are super fun um they she loves that kind of stuff so that along with i say nightgowns we do um uh pajamas like Christmas pajamas character pajamas on Christmas Eve um, kind of following it my mother-in-law's tradition and so um, that's when we do that's when we give pajamas um, but another good option is like slippers and pajamas character pajamas um, my kids love character pajamas so always can find that at like Walmart um, Amazon sometimes, but usually Walmart has some really, really good ones. Um, play food. We have a kitchen that we still haven't taken out, a play kitchen that we still haven't taken out of the garage because I'm just not sure where to put it. And to be honest, I'm not sure it's going to come inside, um, cause it's just huge, but they do like to play with the play food and, um, 
they like to play restaurant and have their own little like you know menu and all this kind of stuff so we definitely like the play food and the play like kitchen equipment um, where they can play restaurant any of this like um independent pretend play um is real fun for them it, it's something that they can do quietly um usually and um just something that they really really enjoy so anything pretend food or pretend things that go along with like the kitchen theme but not necessarily I might not necessarily have the kitchen part <laughs> um, we will see we will see how that works but I am thinking there's just not I just don't want to bring all that in here so anyway um, board games my other kids have board games on their list as well um, the character board games um, we just recently watched the My Little Pony, the new movie um, on Netflix, and that was super cute, super cute. So I have seen a um, My Little Pony board game at Walmart. I cannot find it online, but I have seen it at Walmart. Um, and any of those like My Little Pony um, character toys, since it's a new movie that came out, um, a lot of stuff is My Little Pony, the movie. So not necessarily the original one, but um, the new one is super cute and that's going to be her um, birthday theme as well. So she really liked that. Um, but any of those board games, she likes Candyland. Um, she does like Monopoly and some of the, you know, like Monopoly Junior and things like that that are obviously more on her level. Um, she enjoys playing that. So board games, check those out. They're always new, fun, some characters, some not, but always new and fun board games out there. Um, Beanie Boos, I'm not a huge, I loved stuffed animals growing up, but I'm not a huge fan with seven kids. It's like, I can't see another stuffed animal. Like, this is just crazy. Um, I do have in their rooms the bean bags that you can stick um, stuffed animals in. So that is their stuffed animal storage for each of their rooms. Um, so that works out great. But Beanie Boos are rather small, so I don't have to worry about it taking up a lot of space. Um, and they're just really cute and they have their names and so they like to you know play with the other kids and you know with their beanie boos and things like that so okay and then the last couple things that I have um, the first thing is the dress up clothes so that is something that you can a lot of times find um, with Halloween coming up you can find it right after Halloween um, as Halloween costumes so um, you know if there's certain costumes that they want in you can reuse those if you wanted to I do Halloween themes also so um, I can't, I'm not able to always reuse costumes, <laughs> but, um, if you want to get those and have them just hanging around for them to play around in, um, that would be a good time to do it right after Halloween when some of these things go on sale. Um, also like, um, career, like dress up clothes. So, you know, policeman or construction worker, doctor, nurse, um, any of those things. Those are super cute. Um and fun for the kids, especially you have, if you have a bunch of kids to play. Um, and then finally, dollhouse things. So we have um, a rather large dollhouse um, that we received from someone and um, there's no doll furniture and no dolls. <laughs> so we need to um, kind of, some of those things are not cheap. I found some at Hobby Lobby, if you have a Hobby Lobby near you. Um, there are some on Amazon too, but like building up your dollhouse furniture and your dollhouse people and things like that um, can be kind of pricey. So that is um, top of the list also is dollhouse furniture and dollhouse people for this large dollhouse um, that we have that is great, um, but it just needs some things in it. So that is kind of top of the list actually. I don't know why I put that at the bottom, but that is top of the list. Um, okay, so that is for my, some ideas for a six-year-old girl turning seven, um, so six or seven, depending on, you know, their interests. Um, let me know if you have any other, um, ideas, uh, down below, and if you have any questions about any of the things that I mentioned, let me know, and I will see you guys next time.